My very favorite thrift store in Vancouver where I live is opening today and I've been kind of driving by it like every couple days and I saw that they were accepting donations a week ago and I'm on their email list and I finally got the email two days ago saying that they were going to be opening today. So I decided to get here a half an hour early because they're only going to be letting 20 people in the store at a time and there's no time limit on how long you can be in the store. So those first 20 people can get in there and swoop everything. So I knew I had to be in the first 20 to make it worth my while. But it looks like I'm not the only one with that idea. So there's already a line. It looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people in line. So I better hurry and go get there. favorite thrift stores to go to. I always find really good jewelry and smalls here. And my favorite thing about this thrift store is that when you walk down the aisles, they have everything color coordinated. I always save the best thrifted find to show you guys last, but I'm gonna do the opposite today and I'm gonna start out with my favorite thrifted find today. This is an original oil painting by Henry Morel and she is a beauty. This was $39.99, which for a thrift store isn't that cheap, but I'm expecting that I'm gonna be able to get between four and $500 for this oil painting. Just listed her on my website and she is a real beauty, so she's not gonna last long. Head over to my website, leftcoastrevivals.com if you wanna snag her up. This is a really good quality one. You can tell by the hand carving and the beautiful detail on it. These babies sell online for anywhere from $80 to $150. $8.99 was a pretty steep price for me to pay for this piece, but it is artist sign. And I really love these, whether they're vases or candle holders like this one is in this case, because they can really warm up a space and you can take a very modern room and give it a little bit more of that nature and rustic vibe by just popping in a beautiful handmade piece of wood. The small colorful woven basket was only $1.99. These are great to add into your decor for a little bit of texture and pops of color. picked up the handmade embroidered top in hopes that it was gonna fit me, but when I got it home, it actually didn't fit, but that's okay because I'm going to be doing a huge flash sale on the Recycled Life Instagram feed next week. So make sure you go give it a follow so you don't miss out because I'm gonna be listing dozens of vintage clothing items and handmade items that I typically would have taken to a flea market, but right now there are no flea markets. So I'm gonna do a huge Instagram flash sale. I love the look of wearing a springtime dress with a pair of vintage leather loafers. And these ones were not vintage, but they were really well made and they were only $4.99. And they were in my size, so there's no way I was passing those up. And you know your girl couldn't pass up an old man hat. I picked up this straw hat, which I think is gonna be great for staging and photographing. And then I picked up the old man hat for myself, of course. I'm kind of digging that. This might be something I would really like for my house. Oh look, it comes with Junior Mints. I wasn't sure if I was going to be selling this piece or keeping it for myself, but once I got it home and got it cleaned up and a plant in it, I knew that I needed to keep this baby for my back porch. It's a handmade piece of pottery and it had a really neat shape on it and finding large pots can be pretty hard at the thrift stores. <laughs> I 
I also snagged a few pieces of jewelry for our next big jewelry sale over on the Recycled Life. And I think my favorite one has to be the most adorable little sterling silver hedgehog I've ever seen. I like the Thunderbird earring ones too. This one is an antique coin bracelet from Mexico. And I believe that this is from either the 50s or the 60s, but these are really neat. And it's got that little bit of the jiggle when you shake it. So it's kind of a fun piece. Okay, it's time to get to my Goodwill finds. I totally lied to you guys in the beginning of the episode. The best item, hands down, has to go to my mid-century modern hutch. My new little baby, 50 bucks. Doesn't have the glass, but I think I'm gonna be able to make it work. I scored this at Goodwill for only $49.99. When I spotted it, I smacked my husband on the arm and I was like, babe, look, look. <laughs> because it's not very often that you find a mid-century modern hutch at Goodwill especially one with such great design. This is a 1960s American made garrison piece. And when we originally found it, it did not have the glass. I was really disappointed when I saw that there were not glass doors with it because I've gotten custom glass quotes before and sometimes they have come in more than the price of the actual item. When we came back the next day with the truck to pick up the hutch, it turns out that the original owner had realized that they had forgot to drop off the glass sliding doors and they were so kind and they brought them back in. That was an extra bonus because had the glass doors been there in the first place, they probably would have priced it at $99. Such an incredible score, but here's the problem. It's created this huge dilemma for my husband and I. We are not sure which hutch we need to keep. We have no reason to keep both of them, so I've gotta let one of them go, and I need your guys' help. Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. This first one that we have is a 1960s Danish teak hutch. We picked this up at Habitat for Humanity a few years ago for only $200. It is an incredibly well-built piece and we have loved this thing. It holds all of my fabric pottery in it perfectly. But then there's this beautiful, very classic American mid-century design on the new one. And I'm very, very torn. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just post them both for sale and whichever one sells first, I'm just gonna leave it to fate. That Goodwill trip, I picked up a few really cool pieces of clothing that I wanted to show you. The first one is a handmade dress from the 1960s. The colors on this are incredible. And I'm gonna have this one up for sale in my flash sale. I typically do not go after designer clothing and I'm pretty sure that this Givenchy sweatshirt is a fake. So if you know anything about these, let me know in the comments below because apparently if this was a real authentic Givenchy sweatshirt, it retailed originally for $3,800. That is absolutely bananas. This 90s peasant top turned out to be exactly what I needed for our newest jewelry collection photo shoot. Cool, so I want you to go ahead and put your hand up there on that. There you go, there you go, there you go. And it did have a few very faint stains. So I'm gonna be showing you guys in an upcoming episode how I'm going to indigo dye this and a few other finds that I've gotten recently. I'm really into 1970s clothing, especially outerwear. I really like 70s boots and coats and shawls and fringe, things like that. And this one was a really neat find. I'm gonna hold on to this until this fall so I can at least wear it once or twice before I let it go.
Selena and I get a lot of questions over on The Recycled Life about where we get our shoes. Almost all of my shoes are from Goodwill and they typically price anywhere between $4.99 and $12.99 for maybe a designer pair of shoes or boots, but I snagged four pairs of Clark sandals in incredible condition at the same Goodwill in the same size. So I'm pretty sure that somebody just didn't wear them and donated them all together and it was my lucky day that they were all my size. I've been picking up a lot of these 80s and 90s blouses with the short sleeves. They're really lightweight and you can just kind of tie them in a knot, tuck them in your shorts and you are ready to go throw on some wedges and you've got a very easy summer look for only a couple of dollars. This one was only $4.99 and I had to get it because look at how fabulous this fringe is here on the bottom. I really wanted to pair it with these really fun vintage platform shoes that Selena got for me at a rummage sale for only 50 cents you guys. How fabulous are these? They're definitely not shoes that I'm gonna wear out picking, but they will be really fun for a photo shoot. Oh my gosh, I just came in here to film a clip of these two pillows in the bedroom and look. Look at this little furry buddy. Oh, Jean-Pierre, you taking a nap? Oh. <laughs> Anyways, these are the pillows that I got at Goodwill for $4.99 each. I gave them a really good cleaning and I think that I might keep these because don't they look really good with my Don Friedman wall hanging? I don't know. Should I put them in my shop or should I keep them? I feel like I really like the colors. I don't know if any of you remember my Robert Maxwell Hedgehog. That's a hard thing to say. Robert Maxwell Hedgehog. Robert Maxwell Hedgehog. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know if you remember that from an episode back, but I got this at Goodwill for only $2.99 and these sell online for over $200 a piece. So I really needed to include him in this episode because I got him the same day that I got my plant stand. The plant stand was $6.99 and it was a very traditional oak one. I ended up painting it black for my front porch home makeover, which if you missed that episode, you need to go back and watch it because it's one of the best before and afters that I've ever done before. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite find was that I scored. And if you want to check out all of my vintage finds, don't forget to visit my website, leftcoastrevivals.com. And I will see you guys in a new episode soon.